So just like any other teenager, I started to really think about the idea of identity in high school. Growing up in Casablanca, I had always felt 100% Moroccan. To me, that was what identified me. But in high school and being in a French school system, I had always felt like I constantly had to prove my Moroccanness. And then when I moved away to college, all of a sudden, I had to introduce myself to people who didn't know me, didn't know Morocco, who couldn't understand the way I grew up and didn't really realize all the cultures and influences that make Moroccans who we are. And then the idea of ethnicity would come up. And these were the only options. And I just didn't fit like any of these. So I started to feel a little lost. I started to realize that I don't fit into a simple definition and that became problematic. So I started to think about, you know, ethnicity and, and all of that and realized that society always confines us to boxes. We have these stereotypes of people that are so ingrained in who we are that we don't even see how they confine us. For example, at school, in primary school, if you're known as the troublemaker, you start becoming that person. You start becoming that person more and more. You start embodying the character because that's what people expect from you. And it somehow feels easier, or at least it feels like the easiest choice to just go with what people want from you. The same way that young boys are discouraged from pursuing arts or philosophy majors because how are they going to provide for their families? Or how so many high school girls you meet don't even know what an engineer is. One time I was in a taxi and the driver asked me what I did for a living. And I said, oh, I study civil engineering. And he turned around and gave me the look. You probably know the look. It's a little confused, a little, it looks something like this. <laughs> gave me this look, then turned around and said, oh, I thought you'd be like a nurse or something. Sadly, I get these sorts of interactions all the time. Whether I'm in LA or I'm in Morocco, I get told that civil engineering is really for men. Do you really want to be in construction? How can a girl like you want to be in the dirt all day and, you know, like get your hands dirty? You probably don't want that, do you? Unfortunately, we get these sorts of interactions all the time simply they don't, because they don't fit into a box. Society has given us a clear path to follow when one asked, we're asked, who are you? But it confines our answers within one mold a fixed mold that we're just all trying to fit. It's letting us in on the illusion that we have a choice in determining who we are, but and validating every answer that doesn't fit that mold. It's no secret that millennials are struggling with who they are, and how can we blame them? We live in a society where, you know, society wants us to be one way, our parents want us to be another way. We pretend to be another way on social media, constantly having to show how fabulous our lives are and you know, in an endless quest for likes and shares. And I'm the first culprit of that. If you look through my Instagram, it's all pictures of me smiling and laughing, but you would never know that behind some of those smiles were some of the worst days of my life. You would never know that because people pleasing has become the way we identify ourselves to people. And we spend so much of our time worrying about what other people think of us. So how do we get out? How do we, you know, find our identities back? I tried to think of a time or the last time where I didn't feel confined by a box. And honestly, the last time I could think of was me in elementary school. And it makes sense. As kids, we still live in a world where you can be anything, where you can do anything, where I wanted to be a computer engineer and doctor by day, and a lawyer and actress by night. True story. I would always ask my dad if it was legal to have more than two jobs. And he said, why not, you know? And yeah, call me optimistic, call me naive, but why would we have to settle, even as adults? I mean, yeah, by now, I've kind of given up on my dream of having four jobs. I kind of get it, it's a little hard, but I still want to believe that my identity isn't determined by how the world sees me, but rather how I see myself. 
And I refuse to put myself in a box. I refuse to say, this is me. I want to be able to choose whatever I want. And in order to break free of that mold, we need to realize that. And we need to realize that we need to break free of this confinement. It sounds simple, but believe me, it's not. You know, I have been told countless times that I was never going to make it in an industry that's tailor-made for men, that I will never be happy doing construction and that I should probably just give up. That dis disapproving look I got, I showed you earlier, I still get all the time. But honestly, look at me now. I mean, I'm far, far, far from being the definition of success, but I'm happy. I love what I do, I enjoy my field, I enjoy waking up every day and doing what I do because I try to break free of those boundaries and because I didn't settle for an easy option. And I mean, that's what I'm asking from you, to step out of your boundaries and follow your path. So what I came to understand in my humble 22 years of existence, I know, it's not a lot, there's plenty more to go, but it's that in order to break free of that mold, we have to change the very way that we think of ourselves. We have to be kinder in ourselves. We have to understand that no one can be summed up in one sentence. So why even try to fit someone else's definition of you? And not only do we need to look at ourselves and change the way we look at ourselves, but also implement those changes to other people and the people around us. Be understanding of our peers because every single individual who puts a dent in the mold contributes to its breaking. So if I can leave you with one thing, it would be to take advice from five-year-old Camelia. As naive as she is, she didn't let anyone define who she was, and instead she defined herself. At this age, if you told me I couldn't do something, my only answer would be, watch me. And it's something, something that I thought I had lost between then and now, but I'm finding that by taking chances on myself, I'm able to channel her back. So take chances, take chances in yourself, and when you can, hold the door open for someone else. You never know what might come out of it. Thank you.